Founded in 1942, Duran's has been family owned and operated for over 50 years. It's truly a one of a kind place. Shop for unique and locally made gifts and necessities and eat some of the best authentic New Mexican food on the planet. Duran's was founded in 1942 and we're here in 2022 with my boy, Mac Hemi. How you doing? Good, how are Good you? Good to see you. All right, we're gonna get some hot Thanks, salsa man. in our bodies here in a second, but before we do that, how crazy is this? It's awesome. It's yeah, it's a, it's a restaurant and a gift shop. That's awesome. So, you seem like a loving, giving man. Oh, thank you. Why don't you pick out something for me? Okay. And I'll pick out something for you. All right, perfect. We'll meet up at the kitchen. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, we need so for real. <laughs> you don't want to give him a duplicate gift, you know? Just getting him the same thing as everybody else did. It's just not original. This is so many different things. How much time do I have? Two minutes? Cool. <clears throat> Harder than I thought. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Why is it looking interesting? If I don't find anything, I'll just come back to it. <laughs> I haven't been to this corner yet. Oh, glasses. All right, let's go to the tie. <laughs> I think these bow ties are really nice. This yellow one right here. All right, let me try one more there. <laughs> I feel like Max a little bit of a joker. So I feel like it'd be funny to put one of these little bugs in the bottom of his bag. Ah! <laughs> But then let's put like something cloth on top of it to make it scary. I'm gonna put like something soft on top of it, right, Jay? And he's gonna take that off and I'll be like, are you sure you got everything out of there? No, he didn't. Could go back to an old standby of the socks. I don't know enough about him to make an informed sock decision. I'm just gonna go with my heart, what I would want, which is cats. So this is just to set up the bug joke. Layers on layers on layers. I love it. Oh, he's right there though. Gotta be careful. Look. We're gonna take all oh, the places this bag will go. We're gonna take those socks and that bug. Come on, Mac, bro. I got a family. Yeah, I need it. I need more time. <laughs> it's a really indecisive. Does he like, does he drink coffee? Maybe it's an original. We'll go get the boat back. Man, he's harder than I thought. <laughs> you don't know me, Mac? No, I had one made up, but then he was more, he was un unavailable. It's too expensive, I just said. I mean, Suggs ripped a pair of undies off of a mannequin, so what do we, I mean, it's not gonna get much worse than that. Try not to give you the third pair of undies. I think it's, is this women's or men's? These are men's? Unisex? They're made in Utah. This is a blanket though, this, this might be work actually. It's harder than I thought. <laughs> Shoot. Almost there guys, almost there. Oh, you done? Let my wife see this place. Whew. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm done, I'm done. All you have to do is rush me and I'm good. Stay over there. <laughs> Stay in your area. Such a fashion instead of, he'll go good with this, my game day. All right, looks like we're all done shopping. Cool. Is that palette ready to go on the hot stuff? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, ready as I can be. All right, let's all get right. in there. All right, Matt Kimmy, assistant coach, New Mexico United, here to get down on some spice with me. Yeah, thank All you right. for having me. Absolutely, <clears throat> so glad to have you. Thank you to Duran's for having us. Yep, it's an amazing place. All right, our first one that we're gonna try is the Old Gringo Chili Sauce. Okay. Just a little hatch green chili, little jalapeno, little tomato, little spice. Nothing oh, major. It's green. it's green, it's gonna be beautiful. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Thank you for joining. I like how chunky it is. A little bit of spice in the beginning. What? A little bit of spice oh in the man. beginning. What? This is gonna be quite <laughs> hard. 
It's really good that I can go for second bite. Well, you go second bite, I'll go first question. Okay. Who are you? Who's Man Kami? Who am I? Yeah, how did, you, how did you end up here? I'm originally from Tokyo, Japan. I moved to Carlsbad, New Mexico when I was 17. So I went junior and senior, high, senior year of high school in New Mexico. I ended up living in Colorado, different states, uh, all over the country really, uh, coaching soccer, playing soccer. I also lived overseas as well. And last year, I coached at the University of Denver and earlier this year, before prison started, Zach Pence called me to be the assistant coach here, so. What do you think of that first one? It was great, all it was right. good. The green, I always liked this. All right, perfect. Well, you're gonna like them. First couple then we're going through. Next up on the hit parade, the Santa Fe Ole Medium Late Harvest. This one comes from Santa Fe. It's roasted green chili. Okay. It's got a little lime in it and some spices. Yeah, still green, less juicy. So I feel pressure to say something in that. <laughs> I'm assuming it gets harder as we go. Correct. So this is a level two. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Do you feel it? Yeah, a little bit. More than the last one. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's a little chunky in there. I like the little spice. It is a little spice. Speaking of spice, <laughs> what's the spiciest thing you've ever had in your life? Um, so, so when I was living in Japan, they have a dish called Japanese curry. It's just regular curry with rice on the side. But they had this uh, this restaurant, they had a challenge. Spiciest curry, and if you can eat the whole uh, bowl, you get that meal for free. All right. And I tried the first bite, and never went back there again. <laughs> it was the spices. Usually it's like, it's, you know, curry is like brownish colored, but that one was red and- You knew you yeah, were- I never went back there. <laughs> right, okay. Let's move on to number three. This one, uh, this one is actually provided by our host, Durand. Okay. So this is uh, the Durand's roasted green chili salsa. Wow. So they actually include hot and mild chili in this one. Uh, onion, jalapeno, and spice. See what they got. I like a green chili, I'm a green chili guy. You are not gonna like number six. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm, it's really good. The spice comes as let's take more bites, starting to sweat a little bit. But yeah, you have another bite. It's really good. The taste is good, spice is coming to me little by little. Maybe David was right, I should have taken off this uh, zip, half zip off. As long as you have a shield <laughs> underneath, we have contractual obligations. You always have to have a shield when you're on camera. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely joking. Really good. So talk to me a little bit more about the journey through New Mexico. Like what were those first years like in high school, coming to a completely different place and how did you kind of traverse all that? Yeah, so it's just a total life change, you know, coming from Tokyo to move all the way to Carlsbad. I hadn't lived in United States before. So we as a family moved there and uh, first year was tough, but also it was a good experience for me. It was, it was a life, lifetime, probably one of the best experiences I had. Was, I couldn't speak English first. I had a, enough education in Japan that I knew the, the grammatical, like, you know, the, the verb changes, depends on subject and time and little things like that. But I couldn't even speak uh, uh, English well. So I would go to class, class classes with, you know, you didn't have, they didn't used to have the digital, you know, translating right, exactly. things on the phone or anything like right. that. So, so you had a dictionary. I was literally carrying around this big dictionary, with, you know, 300 pages, you know, and then text bag, uh, textbooks in my backpack and really trying to figure out day by day. But ultimately, um, playing soccer for cavemen in Carlsbad High School helped me to be able to make friends. So I really, Without soccer, I wouldn't be uh, where I am today, of course, but I don't think without soccer and uh, people from New Mexico, it wasn't, it would have been a harder transition for me. Absolutely, and, and you mentioned that like when we did the whole press release, just what the people of New Mexico have meant to you, so, so that's really spectacular. All right, that one looked like it got you a little bit. It's just a little bit. Just yeah, a little I'm, bit? I'm fine now, yeah. Yeah, you're all right? All right, because we're only on number four now. But. <laughs> Number four happens to be the Bossy Gourmet Hatch Green Chili Sauce. Okay. From beautiful Las Cruces, which you spent some time. Uh, hatch Green Chili, tomatoes, parsley, and spices. Get a tomato in there. Really good. So tasty. This is right? really tasty, yeah. I'm going, I'm going for second bites on uh, every single one of them so far. Talk to me a little bit about the time you spent coaching a women's team in Japan. So last year, I got an opportunity to be an assistant coach for one of the best women's professional team in the world and probably the best, definitely to be the best women's professional team in Japan. It was a little bit sweaty. You all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Got um, that glass of milk over there. We'll just make fun of you. <clears throat> 
for my uh, coaching experience. You know, I've always had a coaching job in, in US. So this was the first time coaching overseas. For me, it was a homecoming to Japan and working with, working as a soccer coach, just leading up last year from January to August, just leaving, leading up to Tokyo Olympics at the time. Yeah. We had, I was able to, fortunate enough to coach five girls that represented Japan in the Tokyo Olympics. And that was an amazing experience as a coach. I learned so much. Different approach to the game uh, as a player, just coming up to coaching staff yeah. and things like that and just professionalism and just they have an unbelievable desire to train. Coaching those players taught me so much and just a little bit, you know, I had my experience was uh, only men's soccer before that. Right. So coaching, being able to coach women at such a high level was really uh, educational time for me and it was also homecoming. So a great time there, yeah. Next up, uh, from our friends down in Las Cruces once again, this is the Fresh Chili Company. So just a red and green chili in this one, awesome. spices. So mixed red and green. That's right, and spices. Okay. How hot is this one? There you go. Red and green. Not too shabby, huh? I don't know. Not as spicy as I thought. Talk to me about your relationship that we had with some of the United players. Yeah. Prior okay. to us coming to United. Okay. Did you actually play with Josh Suggs at Las Cruces High? So I didn't play for Las Cruces High School. I was there for to play for a club team called the New Mexico Strikers. Gotcha, gotcha, um, gotcha. So that's why I was there and so I was Hamilton through University of Denver. Yeah. Akamatsu yeah. from year one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think Akamatsu is very happy that his name is dropped right now in this in this thing. Um, obviously with Will, Will Palmquist as well. Yep. Yeah, I don't forget about you, Will. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I'll always love you, Kenny. <laughs> um, but you know, Josh, um, he's known me since the moment I arrived to New Mexico. So he's seen me, you know, not, not being able to speak English, but you know, very um, close relationship with him because he was on the team uh, two years uh, younger than us. Uh, we shared the same head coach, so that was really good. At, so I've known him since then. Right. You know, I would see him at the, on campus at Las Cruces High School and things like that. So he's we've known each other for a long, long time. Yep. Sam Hamilton, uh, when I first joined the staff at University of Denver uh, in 2016, that was when we made the final four run with University of Denver, but he was the captain of the team, senior Amazing. captain of the team at the time. And yep. Um, it's an unbelievable defense on that team. Yeah, <laughs> defense, yeah. It, it Sam is an unbelievable leader on that team as well. And Akamatsu was also on the team, a very talented player. So it's Will, <laughs> Will Palmquist. So yeah, all those guys, just having those relationships with those guys, uh, coming this way made it easier for me. Good people. All right, buddy. Get ready. All right. We're not messing around with this one. This next one? Is this the, is this the, We're not messing the red around. one? Yeah, that, you're darn right it is. Otherwise known right as now. the Aztec Mukwi roasted tomatillo sauce. It has tomato sauce, roasted tomatillos, spices, and from what I can ascertain from it, just millions and millions of volts of lava. Oh, oh God. Nah, yeah. Enjoy. Smell this first. I mean, it looks spicy. A little red. Dark red. Is this too much? Stinky too. Like oh, it's, it's, like, it's coming. Oh, okay. It's coming little by little. Mm. It's it's sneak, sneaking up on me for sure. Getting you. I think it's really good. The it's so tasty, amazing. Though, yeah. The spice is really good. Yeah, I like this. It'll keep going too. You can drink your water. water. Okay, okay. Water isn't tapping What is that, milk? That's milk. <laughs> milk is when we'll hit the pobrecito mm. chant on you, but water, mm. completely okay. Yeah. When did you meet Zach Prince? Okay. And how did that culminate in you ending up here with us? So I initially met Zach uh, playing for a PDL team in Colorado, so it's equivalent to USL uh, to same same similar ideas, uh, New Mexico United uh, U23s. Yep. So we played on a team called the Colorado Rapids U23 together. It was probably back in 2008 or something like that. We played on the same team for that summer. And uh, we've headed along, and you know he's been a friend of mine since then. Yep. But since especially when we got into the coaching world. I was at University of Denver. One of my responsibilities were to recruit the best people possible to join our organization. Right. 
So, you know, being at Denver and my roots with New Mexico, I wanted to make sure that I recruit the best New Mexican players uh, and always know the talent that's coming up. And, you know, Zach was very knowledgeable with that. So we had had a talk since 2018 on who the best New Mexican high school players coming up. And yep. also, so we were in continuous contact. And when the job opened up, he called me and yeah, then I decided to work with him. And it's been, it's been very good. I should mention, um, we recruited a player, Aiden Sumoltzberger, who is uh, from this academy, uh, New Mexico United Academy product, and he's been doing fantastic at University of Denver. Yeah, talking everyone's ear off. Yeah, yeah. He took, you know, obviously just moving and having uh, to live in New Mexico when I was in high school, I had took pride in this if I can, with my position, to create more opportunities for New Mexican soccer players. And, yeah. and Zach was there, and that's why we kept in touch. And he powered through the lava. Yeah. Quite good. All right, get ready for this next one. This is the El Coyote Small Batch from right here in Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. Thai chilies, jalapenos, this one's habaneros, and spices. It's incredibly liquidy. Liquidy. It's supposed to be more spicy than the last one. It's all just a matter of taste, man. <laughs> Variety is the spice of life. Ooh, I got too much on that one. Yeah. All of them kind of sneaks up on you. So little by little, second by though. You can't wait till someone comes to visit you, right? And they're like, just try this, it's great. No spice here. No sweating here and here. I'm seeing a little bit. <laughs> Why did it? Just remember the only shame uh -huh. is that you have so to I drink the milk. milk. Yeah. Oh, I went just a little too cocky on this one. <laughs> Pretty bad. Yeah. Woo. I got a little too arrogant with mine. All right, my friend. Okay. You ready to do a gift exchange? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, there's so many select, so many items to choose from. I mean, it is. That is a thick bag of gifts, sir. Yeah. You are too generous for your own good. All right, you want to start with mine? Sure. You want me to just reach on, reach on in there? Oh, it's a bag inside a bag. A bag what could there possibly be inside that bag? Oh wow! Oh, the places this bag will go. <laughs> I mean, you're a traveling man. So right? Is there anything else the inside there? With me, yeah. Any, oh, is there anything else? There's another bag I mean, in maybe there. you should check. Oh. <laughs> What's in Socks. I didn't know what you liked, so I just went with what I liked, which hey, is cats. Yeah. Yes, I've never had a, I've never had a cats, it's pets, but thank you. Is Over there anything else again. in there? <laughs> uh, yeah, there is another thing in here. <laughs> thank you. This, I guess scare people away with this. I tried to, I, I thought it might yeah, give you a little fright. Saw, yeah, <laughs> thank you. The wood is on the, maybe training tomorrow. <laughs> you know, the, we'll leave him right there. Maybe he wants a chip. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, my gift, it's pretty big size. Back, yeah. It's much more sizable than mine. Yeah. Let's see. Oh my, <laughs> look at this. Wow. <laughs> How about that? We got the wide angle ready to go, boys. I just know you wear a lot of different hats and, you know, on the game day. A lot of different serapes. <laughs> well, I just know that uh, on the game day, I know you outside help setting up and, you know, going into October and yeah, playoff yeah, yeah. time. Oh, playoff. Okay, so yeah, I was yeah, thinking yeah. like, yeah. Are, do you think I need this blanket during July <laughs> field setup time? Because that's the last thing I need, but yeah. that's keep, beautiful, man. Keep you warm. Thank you. Lovely. All right, moving on dot com. Next up, the Gilly Loco yeah. Ghost Pepper Chili Verde, which has ghost pepper, mm -hmm. green chili, habaneros, and spice. Have you ever had a ghost pepper? Yes, I have. All right. I remember, remember the last time I had them. It can be really hot. I'm already done with mine, bro. You're more experienced than it. Mmm. Really good. You all right? It's getting hot, it's getting hot. Getting up there? <laughs> that milk's starting to look a little bit no, more tempting? No milk, but maybe water. So what would you say is your main role, responsibility, focus yeah. as it comes to the first team? I think for my position, you wear a lot of different hats every day. I think, you know, looking looking just at the technical side would be uh, just being ready to present to uh, technical staff, Zach and the other technical staff about um, just the plan, tactical plan towards in possession, out of possession, how we approach this game, um, using all of the data and information possible, uh, whether it's with the GPS data that we have or film system that we have, all of the information combined 
behind that to make sure that uh, you're presenting Zach on, on, on a game day tactical preparation. So I, I'm really fortunate enough to work with a phenomenal staff that have such a great mind to the game and making sure that I'm getting everybody's information and, and, and suggesting things and always have, you know, my first conversation I have daily is with Zach in our office and uh, just making sure that um, we could come up with the best uh, plan possible to go to game. I think more importantly, I think more... <laughs> It's getting there little by little. Um, but more importantly, I think, you know, as a whole organization po portion of it, it, you know, I, I like to look at myself as a glue of the team. Um, just with the Zach to the rest, the rest of the technical staff, to the players, the support staff that are, you know, James, and making sure that uh, there's a lot of a lot of variables that go through in in organization um, soccer team, and just making sure that, that I'm having conversations with everybody, uh, making sure that we are all on the same page. It's, it's it's around you know 30 to 35 people in organization, so it's it's it takes a lot of time and effort to get everybody on the same page, but making sure that I communicate the players and. Play a pivotal role in that. There's a lot of different times, you know, so many things are going in the season. So I try to be there for everybody in the organization, whether it, you know, may, you mainly there for Zach every day, just making sure that I'm supporting him with his decisions and, and how we can be better. Um, the technical staff, obviously talking to James or Summer, Matt Laquer on, on the health of the players, just having that information. Um, and then also, you know, more importantly, for players, you know, the ups and downs in a season. So making sure that uh, they feel very comfortable coming to, coming to me and communicating to me and making sure I'm there for them. For them. And that's probably the, I mean, if you that explained. <laughs> I feel like you were stalling a little bit there. Are you, are you, are you, did you get a little yeah, long yeah, yeah. answer there? You're like, yeah, I was just eyeing the milk a little bit. <laughs> just, you start, <laughs> starting to look a little bit better. Man, you are in the home stretch. We have one left, Perfect. one left. And it comes from the motherland okay. of Spice in New Mexico, which is Hatch. Awesome. So we're doing the Hatch Love Chili, Hatch. Verde Lumbre Chili. So this is Hatch Chili with a Barack Poor Pepper. Supposed to be the hottest? Allegedly. We'll see. Everyone's taste is different. Cheers. Cheers. Home stretch, my friend. Mmm. Yeah. This one's out. Uh, hit you quicker than the other one. Hit you quicker. Still tastes very, very good. Oh, it's incredibly yeah. tasty. Second bite. Let's go. Show sucks. You look at this, Josh sucks. Josh, this love this stuff. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about drinking it, but he drank the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing. All right, last question. Mm -hmm. Including yourself. Yeah. Amongst all of the technical staff. Okay. Who's the best tech ball player? Oh. <laughs> um. So I haven't I haven't played against all of the staff members, but I know sitting here that I'm one of the best players <laughs> out there. You know I think if I fine tune my just uh, final product on the ball to finish plays, I think I would be by far the best. Okay. Uh, but I know that you know I played against a couple of guys, and there's one time well, when I have my right mentality, I definitely win in that game. Yeah. But I was just kind of messing around, and I lost to Idamar. Oh, no. But Idamar celebrated that so much. Yeah. That like tells me that I'm a very high, yeah. high player in the, in, in the league. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, be mad. You just it's, it's like one of the Champions League or something. So <laughs> just give me a couple more weeks and work on the final product and uh, my mentality going into the game and I should be fine. He's not got a chance. <laughs> well, man, we didn't have to use the pobrecito chant on no. you. No milk. Thank you. Uh, you've done a wonderful job, and as such, you've earned yourself a shout out. So, <laughs> who would you like to shout out? Shout out? Just shout out to all uh, everybody from New Mexico that, that I know. Uh, I think without them, I wouldn't be where I am today, and I wouldn't have the the job. And you know, just having this passion to be doing what I am doing is 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 uh, for the people from New Mexico. So, give a shout out to them. Amazing. Well, you made it all the way through. Thank you very much. Big shout out from my end to our friends at Duran's, our main homeboy Jay for making the best flautas in New Mexico. Thank you, Mac, for joining us. Thank you to all of our amazing production crew. I'm Lucas Cash, and that's it for That's All Hot.